For the past 18 years, Eric Joyner has been painting robots and donuts, which just so happens to be the name of his 2008 art book, a specific yet broad and delightful collection of work. The reason for picking these subjects were simply because he paints what he likes. For example, the idea of focusing in on robots was based on his own personal collection of toys. These robots would become the focal point of most of his artwork, surrounded by and interacting with real life, fantasy worlds, and surreal elements. Of course, Joyner didn't base his entire creative career off of something he saw out of the corner of his eye when searching for an idea of what to paint, but his collection of robots, in his eyes, would make striking pieces of work. At one of his gallery showings, called Sweet Dominion at Corey Helford's Gallery in Los Angeles, California, he was interviewed and stated about his toy robots that the shapes are funny and the colors are pretty. He also went on to say that the images of donuts bring back fond memories of childhood. That just may be the secret to the enchanting and inviting appeal his art holds. The subjects bring a childlike wonder, but in many pieces there's the addition of a contrasting harshness of real human life in his darker works. Like his 2012 piece, All Wrapped Up, where a shiny little red robot toy is being wrapped up and strangled by a snake in a jungle. Or his 2003 piece, Frustration, where a blue robot is being hung in a dark, gloomy gothic chapel with a murky and muddy color palette. Occasionally, he will also reference popular media. For example, this robot added to a 2001 A Space Odyssey scene. Though most of his work are captures of a serene, optimistic daydream, or a child's utopia straight out of their imagination. Joyner cites his interest in art being sparked at a Van Gogh exhibit as a child at the De Jung in San Francisco. And looking at Van Gogh's work, it's no surprise where his colorful and warm, happy art style was born from, along with the trademark color abundant comic books he would read. Joyner worked at a lumber mill while constantly drawing and painting in his free time to save up for art school which he did, leaving Oregon behind for the Academy of Art in San Francisco. After graduating, he worked in commercial art pretty quickly and then eventually as a background animator at Spunky Productions during the recession after taking a computer animated assignment, which he absolutely hated, referring to it as torturous. After Spunky Productions didn't pan out as a long-term path, he became a full-time gallery artist like he always subconsciously wanted to, and being able to create the subjects of his passion, adding donuts to his trademark subjects along with robots and spaceships. Eric Joyner has an extremely broad array of variety in his work despite it being such a specific niche subject. The magical quality of his artwork and the worlds and characters he invents is unlike anyone else. You can view Joyner's art on his website ericjoyner.com and also buy products and accessories as well as prints of his beautiful works. Also, check out the upcoming events section on his website to see his galleries in person or check him out at Comic-Con.